All right, welcome back to the video. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering everything you need to know on how to fish for spotted bay bass from rods and reels to line and all the way to all of your favorite baits and lures and how to fish them. It's all gonna be in this video. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and take these techniques out to the water and show you guys how to fish them on the water. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a lit one. And if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and put that all down below in the comment section. I'll try to answer all of your guys' questions as soon as I'm able to get to them. And if you guys want me to do like any other types of videos, anything like what bait we should focus on in a video or something like that, some video ideas, go ahead and put that all in the comment section and I'll try to do whatever you guys say. Let's go ahead and continue with the video. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna talk about what rod you need to fish the baits that you're gonna to wanna to throw, especially because we're talking about saltwater fish and not only Sparta Bay Bass will hit your lure if you're fishing in the ocean like that, halibut will hit it, some sand bass, calico bass, and they all have some teeth, and especially those halibut have some really, really sharp teeth. So you're gonna want a little bit of heavier line. So what I usually throw on my bigger bait caster reels are usually a 25 pound uh, braid to Usually 15 to 20 pound fluorocarbon. This is just a multicolor braid. I like it a lot because whenever I, I cast out, I can just see tons of colors in my reel. So that's for the braid. Okay, and then for my leader line, I, use, I like to use this P-line fluorocarbon. Abrasion resistant because there's tons of rocks down there. So 25 pound braid to 15 pound fluorocarbon is usually what I go for on my bait caster. You could always use yeah, just, just straight fluorocarbon, say exact same thing, or straight mono, 15, 20 pound, is perfectly fine. That's just what I like to use on my bait casters. For the rod that I use, I usually use medium heavy for my like bait casters. My other setup, obviously, is I always have to have, you know, just a spinning combo right here. Just literally just a medium power rod, and it's perfect for all those lighter baits like 130 second 330 seconds like those 1 8 ounce baits this is just perfect the reel i put on 10 pound braid and if i'm fishing like the rocks like it will just tear on my line i'll use up to 15 pound fluorocarbon and i'll go down to like 8 to 10 pounds only because if you go to six i've tried it once and i had one of the most annoying is day because they were biting really good and all I had was a six pound setup, six pound mono setup and I was just losing fish after fish. But this is my spinning combo. If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Nair and I make these fishing videos. So if you guys enjoy fishing or if you guys enjoy just learning all about these really cool fishing stuff, then you should definitely consider subscribing right down below. It means a lot. And it, I really, really appreciate everyone who goes down there and subscribes. And let's get right back to the video. All right, next up what we're gonna talk about is all those cool lures and soft plastics that everyone loves to buy. Let's just get to explaining all of my favorite baits, just catch fish. Let's get right into it. So first of all, obviously everyone knows paddle tail swim bait is literally a crusher. Works every time. This is an MC swim bait. You can use those big hammers. My personal favorite is these, you know, Kitex. The Kitex. And I even have a pack of little two inch ones. These things are perfect for little drop shots. Dude, you just slow roll it in little pops. This will definitely get you a bite. In the fishing video, of this video of me explaining I caught fish on this exact rig right over here. So stay tuned for this. And what I like to use mainly on all those little bigger ones is usually those, the jig heads. Just a, this is a Damiki head. These are a little bit of ex expensive. It's like a pack for like six, six dollars, something like that. I found like the craziest budget little jig heads that are made by Eagle Claw right here. A 25 pack of one fourth ounce jig heads for like four or five bucks. This is a crazy deal. If you just want to, you know, get out there, these things are perfect. You get snagged, you lose one, you're perfectly fine. You have tons more to lose. Another thing you guys can throw these stuff on is wobble head, swing head thingy. It's a weedless hook, so 
when you put on your bait and you go through the rocks, it won't get stuck in there because your bait is totally, totally flattened with the hook. So you won't get stuck in any of those weeds and stuff. I made this one myself with a little, you know, little, little split shot and a, and like a swivel. Like the ones that you can buy online, those neck breakers are like literally $10 for like two, which is crazy when I can make these for like 50 cents a piece. And the next thing I really like to use is obviously those little grubs. You guys, if you guys have tried these things, these things are my favorite bait for halibut. Halibut smash these little grubs, especially this big hammer, big hammer grub right here in this color, dude. Did they slam this thing? If you guys want like a budget, budget one? Go ahead and get these. These are another one, Eagle Claw, the same exact type, just in the one sixteenth ounce and. 25 in here for like three dollars. This thing will work really good for the price I have it on right here as you guys can tell it's all beat up. It's been eaten up Like crazy, but this thing will get bit right here So that's for the little grubs next up what I'm gonna talk about is you know those those zoom flukes Or those you know those Berkeley gulp flukes those things work amazing, too You guys can obviously you know Pair it up on like a just a regular worm hook and just you know jerk it through the water like that. Next I want to talk about is the net rig. As everyone knows, the net rig is like the slowest presentation that produces like the craziest amount of fish. So this is the net rig for you guys right here. It's a uh, like a heavy weighted head that like sits upright. So when you work your lures, they bounce on the bottom like that. And one of people's favorites, obviously, is like the Z-Man's. Those regular TRDs, those things they float. So when it's on the bottom, it will like sit up straight and it will just bounce. These things are killer out in the bay. And another really good thing you guys could do is because it sits upright and it bounces like that, is to put same exact thing, another one of those flukes on it. And the fluke will literally just bounce and like just jerk on the bottom like like really crazy dying bait fish. Especially on a drop shot, these things also get murdered with that crazy little wiggle action. You can basically put everything on a, a net rig head. You can put swim baits. I put little swim baits. You know they the swim baits little like bounce on the bottom. Works great also. Really good finesse baits right here. And lastly, what I want to talk about and that is the umbrella rig, or if you want to call it the Alabama rig. These things are crazy deadly but they are expensive so <laughs> if you guys are willing to risk it for these things the big ones will literally just commit to these big baits they just go crazy over it when they see just a really big meal so this is just your average you know some cheap umbrella rig and you know just regular regular jig heads with like a paddle tail swim bait just like that you know just just your average paddle tail on there and then the other one that i made is is what those little jig heads that I made myself, those wobble heads. So I add a little bit of weight and it gives you that weedless hook because these things get expensive and you do not want to lose them. You literally want to kill yourself when you lose one of these things because how expensive they are. And you have to get five baits, five hooks in. It could get expensive. So getting these weedless hooks is crazy big deal. Open water, go to use this. You'll get much better hookup ratio. But if you don't want to lose an A rig, gotta use this. These things will get bit. And lastly, what I want to explain is that you guys could throw basically every single one of these lures on a drop shot rig because that thing will literally have your hook up here, your weight down here, and you won't get as much of it like, you know, down on the rocks or anything. And you won't get hung as much as if you're using like a regular, you know, jig head like this. So, and also it keeps it like right in the strike zone. Drop shot is another really big killer. Just throw, just tie a Palomar knot. You guys can search it up online. Palomar knot and just literally just put a little weight on the bottom and that thing will just get bit with a, you know, one of these flukes or what I actually showed in the video on a, a little swim bait. They all work great on a drop shot. I wanna just, just explain about Sense Procure Super Gel. The, this is a calico cocktail, I think. It's basically just like a gooey slime that you put on your on your baits and lures. And it gives it like a good scent. And the next thing that I use sometimes is is this like dip and glow when I'm like fishing at night and I, or if I want to just give a different color. Usually at night when I when I like want to put a little chartreuse on the tail or something to help him find the bait easier. A little different color for them to find. It's much better. And to give them a little bit of, you know, a little bit of scent to chase after. Let's just 
get right into the fishing part of the video explaining to you guys everything you need to know on how to catch fish with these paddle tail swim baits and drop shot with tiny little swim baits and flukes we'll hit you guys right on the water All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tie on these this uh, little fluke on a drop shot right here. Size one VMC, like a one eighth ounce weight. Zoom fluke. A little bit of scent. All right, so first I'm gonna tell you exactly where to cast. So. So firstly, one of my favorite spots is usually right along the dock's edge. You just cast it parallel to it, or you can cast like a foot or two away from the wall itself, right along those rocks that you guys can see down there. That's another perfect spot. And when there's like an open area, there's usually these pilings that hold up the, the, the docks itself. And that's usually a really good spot. And they usually hang out right over there. And it works with almost every single bait. So what I'm actually doing with these little swim baits and flukes is all I'm doing is giving them a couple pops or I'm just reeling it in slowly. Finally, we actually got one. Finally, literally after a lot of hours of playing around with different baits and stuff. We finally hooked up. He's aggressive. Wow. Wow, he's not big at all. He fought really good. I thought it was really big. No skunk today. Tiny little guy. Look how small he is. But it's awesome. We got one. All right. Let's see you later, buddy. All right, now, now that we finished up with the drop shot, we did the drop shot, now let's go ahead and use the little swim bait on a ball jig head. Got our new one on right there. Chartreuse tail. Literally, as I explained before, all you do is literally just pop it off the bottom. Just go pop, pop. You have a little bit of a reel. Pop, 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 pop. And you're just popping off the bottom. And you're just reeling in the slack. And the fish can't resist, especially a Kitek swim bait. That company makes amazing swim baits. Let's go. Got another one. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about right there. There we go. Two down. I don't know if I'm going to tie on another thing. I think I'm done now because it's it's really, really late. And it takes me two hours in the bus to get back. So it's, almost, it's already 8 o'clock. So I'll be back at, at 10 o'clock. So it's going to be really late. He literally slapped it. Then he missed, he missed the, the hooks. And then he came back for it and I and I finally got him. Right there, little small little baby. Oh my god, he's crazy. Look at that cute little spotty. Alright, let's let him free. See you later, bud. Alright, that was it for the video. I tried my best to explain everything and if I miss something you guys can go ahead and just comment that all down below and I'll try to answer you guys or I can make a whole new video covering what you guys want to see in the next video. Hopefully this helped you guys a lot 
And if you guys could please subscribe down below. It really takes me a really long time to make and edit these videos. I really, really appreciate it, especially when I take the bus a couple hours there and back. It, it's really tough. And if you guys can subscribe, it means a lot. And if you guys want to see two other really cool videos, like when I went to Brendan Ray's docks, go click over here. And over here is just the jetties fishing. And hit over here to subscribe. It means a lot. And we'll see you guys in the next video.